What's going on guys? Welcome to a one-off video. Today we are going to be talking about the mechanics of the new Kamigawa Neon Dynasty set. Before we jump into that, I just want to remind you, uh, we do have a giveaway for Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. We're going to be announcing the winner for that on February 23rd. There is some more information on this on our website at resolvesmtg.com as well as the video on our homepage of our YouTube channel. So please do check that out. Uh, you are entered to win a free draft booster box, a full draft booster box if you're subscribed to the channel but there are other ways to enter so i encourage you to uh check those out all right so as of recording this this is literally right after like literally an hour after the uh live release of the new cards and things like that that we saw uh on thursday january 27th i'm hoping to get this out the same day but we may uh we may not quite get there uh with this in mind i thought what we would try and do is just kind of go through the mechanics of the set so we're not going to go into some of the detailed of you know the new cards and things like that there is a lot to talk about there but i want to keep this focused on just the mechanics returning and and new uh, and just kind of talk about those what they do how they're gonna hopefully gonna be used and things like that so without further ado we will jump into our first one which is ninjutsu uh, ninjutsu is a returning mechanic originally I believe in betrayers of Kamigawa uh, and it's a pretty straightforward mechanic most of you guys have probably seen this before but the idea is that uh, you can attack with a creature or whatever uh, pay that ninjutsu cost and the card in your hand with ninjutsu then replaces the attacking creature on the field uh, tapped and attacking of course so uh, there's some really sneaky things you can do like that it's really really fun there's actually some very powerful ninjutsu cards that we've seen in the past and so I'm hoping with all of the ninja style stuff in this set uh, that we'll certainly have a lot of that this time around as well that was a favorite of Betrayers of Kamigawa one of the the really powerful mechanics in my opinion and one of the the mechanics that people really enjoyed uh, and so it's great to see that back another returning mechanic is channel I believe originally from Savior of Kamigawa and this is actually a really cool one as well so the idea is basically you pay a cost discard a card from your hand with channel and you get to take some effect activated ability whatever you want to do uh, it depends what that ability is of course but it's actually a very cool mechanic one small change here that uh, is implemented with this new set is that channel is not particularly tied to spirit creatures uh, previously in the uh, original Kamigawa sets that was the case but uh, thankfully here we get to see it on some different stuff now moving on there is a new keyword here to note which is modified modified is a very interesting one it basically refers to collectively creatures who are equipped enchanted uh, or have counters on them uh, and the idea here is that you know modified creatures might get a particular buff or you might do something with particular modified creatures and so uh, having that batch title for them uh, is something that I'm sure we'll find useful in the upcoming set Next on our list, we have reconfigure a brand new mechanic for Kamigawa Neon Dynasty and a really interesting one at that. So the idea behind this is that it allows artifice creatures to be attached just like an equipment to any other creature uh, and provide different abilities and things like that if they happen to be equipped. Now, just like with previous equipments, these can be uh, equipped at sorcery speed, not instant speed, but they do provide a nice little buff for you. You can unequip them as you'd like, and if they are unequipped, they are a creature. If they are equipped, they are not a creature. Pretty straightforward. Now, another new keyword here is completed, which describes Phyrexians. We do have Jenga Taxis and Tamiyo here for some of these, but uh, Tamiyo really represents a lot here because it also has the Phyrexian mana symbol, which does prove to us that we are getting that Phyrexian mana symbol back. Uh, interesting Interestingly enough here, they did kind of, not nerf it, but definitely downgrade it slightly. Uh, instead of just being a alternate cost, what it also does is limit the number of loyalty counters that Tamiyo gets on the onset. So I believe it's minus two counters immediately if you pay the Phyrexian mana versus just the normal mana cost. Kind of interesting there. It's an interesting way to kind of nerf that a little bit. Obviously, Phyrexian mana in the past has been a problem, and uh, it's kind of cool to see them reintroduce it, but with a little bit of that fixed mentality. Now, now, last but not least is uh, the double faced mechanic. This is obviously something that we've seen quite a bit of uh, around this time, but this time it's actually tied to another mechanic, which is sagas. So the way that these are going to work uh, is you play them uh, outright as a saga. So obviously they'll have their one, two, three uh, counters. On that third one, they will exile themselves and then return to the battlefield flipped as an enchantment creature, uh, which is really interesting. Um, there is, it looks like a bit of a sub theme for enchantment creatures or just enchantment enchantments in general uh, and so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this plays out I'm really excited to see this and hopefully get our hands on some of those early all right guys so that is our mechanics overview for what we know so far about Kamigawa Neon Dynasty obviously there 
is a lot of information coming out and we just got a uh, a truckload of information dumped on us uh from that live stream but hopefully you guys were able to catch it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please of course leave a like on it make sure you do subscribe if you want your hands on some free kamigawa neon dynasty cards that is a great way to not only support the channel but of course get your hands on those cards so please do check that out for all the details that's over on our website as well as in the video but guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this one i'll see you very soon hopefully with some more uh kamigawa neon dynasty spoilers or just information <laughs>